Welcome to the 10th Annual Green Prize for Sustainable Literature, presented by the Santa Monica Public Library and the Office of Sustainability and the Environment. Santa Monica is recognized as a global leader in sustainability, so it's only natural that it would celebrate its commitment by acknowledging the storytellers who bring issues of sustainability to the forefront. In 2007, Santa Monica created a first-of-its-kind award, exclusively dedicated to celebrating authors, illustrators, and publishers whose goal was to broaden the public's awareness of sustainability and the notable collection at the library. Uh, to date, the Green Prize for Sustainable Literature has recognized over 100 titles. The Green Prize Selection Committee, consisting of librarians, educators, and sustainability experts, reviews dozens of submissions over the course of several months. Each year, the committee chooses the best adult and youth titles in sustainability, as well as the recipient of its Pioneer Award, which is presented to an author who has paved the way for other writers and millions of readers like you across the world. The pioneers to date include Rachel Carson, Theodore Seuss Geisel, Jane Goodall, David Orr, Bill McKibben, Paul Hawken, Francis Moore LaPay, John Muir, and E.O. Wilson. While accepting the Pioneer Award in 2012, Paul Hawken remarked, transforming minds is what libraries, books, and literacy have always been about. If you are illiterate, books look like kindling. If we are biologically illiterate, forests look like firewood. If we are socially illiterate, people look like problems. The Green Prize for Sustainable Literature represents an expanded sense of what constitutes a literate world. In a world where children can name hundreds of logos but only a handful of birds, green books offer us the possibility of discovering our true home here on Earth. And knowing where we are, we may more fully know who we are and can be. This year, the Pioneer Award goes to Vandana Shiva. An eco-feminist, environmental activist, philosopher, and scientist, Vandana has authored more than 20 books. Her work has inspired a global movement for peace, sustainability, and social justice. Everywhere in the world, a phrase rang in resonance, that we are all seeds. That for a while, we might lie underground but at the right moment, we germinate and burst out with all of our potential. This year, the committee has selected five adult and five youth titles to receive awards. The 2016 Green Prize for Sustainable Literature youth titles are Inside Biosphere 2, Earth Science Under Glass by Mary Kay Carson. Luna and Me, The True Story of a Girl Who Lived in a Tree to Save a Forest by Jenny Sue Kostecki Shaw. Wangari Matai, The Woman Who Planted Millions of Trees by Frank Prevo. Firebirds, Valuing Natural Wildfires and Burned Forests by Sneed B. Collard III. And Untamed, The Wildlife of Jane Goodall by Anita Silvey. The 2016 Green Prize for Sustainable Literature adult titles are A River Runs Again, India's Natural World in Crisis, From the Barren Cliffs of Rajasthan to the Farmlands of Karnataka by Meera Subramanian. Lentil Underground, Renegade Farmers and the Future of Food in America by Liz Carlisle. Encyclical on Climate Change and Inequality, On Care for Our Common Home by Pope Francis. Waste-Free Kitchen Handbook, A Guide to Eating Well and Saving Money by Wasting Less Food by Dana Gunders. And While Glaciers Slept, Being Human in a Time of Climate Change by M. Jackson. Congratulations to all the winners of the 2016 Green Prize for Sustainable Literature. Now in its 10th year, the Green Prize for Sustainable Literature, presented by the Santa Monica Public Library and the Office of Sustainability and the Environment, has become a highly anticipated and sought after prize, internationally recognized for shining a much deserved light on the people influencing our discussion on sustainability. So, as we take a moment to celebrate the first 10 years of authors, illustrators, and publishers that make a profound difference throughout the world, we look forward to what the future has in store for our next decade of sustainable literature.